I have come across many misconceptions about the Cambrian Explosion here on YouTube. One of those misconceptions is that the Cambrian Explosion is the beginning of life. This is untrue. The beginning of life happened 3.85 billion years ago in the Precambrian, and it started with simple single-celled life. Later in the Precambrian, it did evolve into multicellular life, but it wasn't until the Cambrian Explosion when life really took off. The Cambrian starts 542 million years ago, but the Cambrian Explosion started right at the end of the Precambrian. The reason it's called the Cambrian Explosion is because there's an explosion of different arrays of life. That The reason for this is that there's an abundance of new ecological niches to fill. Creationists try to make it seem like the Cambrian Explosion happened in the blink of an eye. The Cambrian lasts 70 to 80 million years. Now, geologically, this is not that much time, but evolutionary, this is a significant amount of time because evolution happens to populations. And in the Cambrian, a population breeding time could have lasted anywhere from a day to a week. So 70 to 80 million years, when you have a population that breeds every day, is a significant amount of offspring which would carry a significant amount of mutations into the future that natural selection could act on. Something else that could have spurred on evolution in the Cambrian explosion is the evolution of the eye. I'm not going to go into detail on the evolution of the eye because there are countless numbers of videos on here that do a great job describing it. But once the eye had evolved, this would have started the evolutionary arms race between predator and prey, also known as Red Queen theory. The creatures that would have had better eyesight would have passed on their genes either way because the predators would have been able to see their prey easier and the prey would have been able to see the predators coming. Once eyesight was established, different animals would find different niches to fill and this also would have spurred on evolution. Another common misconception about the Cambrian Explosion is that all the life that we see today was established during the Cambrian Explosion. This is untrue. The Cambrian evolved very simple life forms one of the most advanced life forms in the Cambrian were jawless fish. There were no such thing as bony fish, let alone any tetrapods that inhabited the land. But because of this, this is a real easy way to falsify evolution. If you find any tetrapods in the Cambrian, then you would have falsified evolution. Also, many of the creatures that did evolve in the Cambrian explosion were vastly different than life that we have today they are also mostly extinct. As you can see, most creationists have a really misconstrued idea of what the Cambrian Explosion is. I hope I have put most of their ideas to rest with this video.